if anyone wants to join me, aka Jasmine, let me know. Um, what's my next dream role? I do have something that I really would like to do. Um, but other than that, I just let, you know, the universe decide. <laughs> um, yeah. What else? How's everyone doing? Can we talk about, like, the news? Uh, <laughs> sports. Games. Arsenal was playing yesterday. I only know because I was at a pub and they were like, Arsenal's playing. And then I was like, okay, great. I'm gonna leave. Did they win? Who knows? There's no way to know. Um, how is everyone? What... Sorry. Reading is hard for me when I'm talking. I feel like this is boring, so ask me questions. I have about 25 minutes for you. I know I always say this and then I end up staying longer. Also, I'm just looking at this book and I still haven't finished it. I'm literally only like 50 pages in and I'm really, really slacking. I'm literally 50 pages in. That's so bad. But if anyone likes this, let me know. I like it. It's not that great, though. Where am I going? I'm not going anywhere. I just came home. Um, so, yeah. Can you say hi, Lacey? Hi, Lacey. Um, auditioning for Heather's next month. Great. Awesome. Hoping for Diddy. I mean, Diddy is the best role. He doesn't have to dance. He has great songs, and he gets to be a total psycho. Dream role. Um, anything special in the works that you can tell us about? <laughs> Can't say. Um, but something I, this is not even a joke anymore. Like I am actually working on like some content and I'm gonna start vlogging. I'm thinking of doing like a library vlog, which sounds boring to some of you, but like there's so many like great libraries. I. I'm thinking about like vlogging my life a little bit more, maybe posting some stuff. Um, but I feel like it's boring for other people to watch, but maybe like, even if there's like three people who wanna watch it, great. Um, do you have any advice for anyone, who, for someone who wants to do musical theater? Um, yeah, if you wanna do it as a job, <laughs> be prepared, you know, it's hard, but it's great. So I would say like, make sure that you truly love the craft. And that's not, not just musical theater, that's like all like creative stuff. Like, it's great. Like be around people who also love it as much as you and always work super hard to get better, I guess. I went to class yesterday, it was really good. It was scene study, really enjoyed it. So it's just like, it never, like it's, it never stops. Like you're not ever done learning. So I would say just like keep going, keep learning. Don't be too hard on yourself. That's directly a quote that I'm gonna tell myself because I'm so hard on myself sometimes and it's just not worth it. Like literally we're just like playing some characters on a stage, it's not that deep, but sometimes it, yeah, feels really hard. Uh, but yeah, keep going, enjoy it. Um. Oh, someone's saying that they'll watch it. Well, that's great. I'll, I'll, I'm gonna actually vlog. I'm just thinking like what is interesting about my life and like what like type things should I be recording? Like what would be good for you guys? Um, favorite Heather Duke line I said, I don't know, pop a tampon. Don't pop a tampon, I think that's what it is. Can you do a vlog slash live talking about what to prepare? I just got a WhatsApp a job not an important job but oh. uh can you do a vlog slash live talking about what to prepare for moving to the uk from a different country the things you did good and what you re would recommend this is the thing ahmed like for me personally like because i'm in like a lot of groups when people talk about moving to london to the uk but before brexit that was that was me like I was before Brexit it was easy I just literally came over here that was it 
now it's complicated and I have no insight. So I feel like if I were to make a video, maybe, I mean, I could talk about like how it's different from where I'm from and like if that is of any interest, but I can't, like I have no information about like how to like all the technicalities um, around like moving to the UK now that it's not part of the EU anymore, which is so complicated. Um, but if you want to, um, um, but yeah, would you rather play Kurt or Ram? That's a good question. Um, what does Kurt do different? I don't know. I feel like they're the same. I know that Kurt always talks first. So maybe Ram, cause he's like, <laughs> um, that's cute. Your hair is gorgeous. What do you use? Um, extensions. <laughs> yeah, this, this is, um, I haven't even talked about my extension yet. Why don't you have a British accent? Why don't you have a British accent? Stormtrooper. <laughs> I'm not from here. Um, great. Why were you the only black girl in Heather's? I mean, I wasn't the only one, but there could definitely be more. Um, have you seen Hamilton? I have. Um, let me talk about my hair, right? Oh, there's so many good questions. Okay, let me just quickly talk about my hair. So I got my hair done. This hair is from a company called Ruka Hair. It's human hair, which sounds really weird to people who don't have extensions, but it's really nice, it's super, super soft. Um, and then my real hair is also in here. Um, I got it done at, um, what's it called? Oh, me giving a shout out. I think I'm gonna do a video on it because it's quite, it's great. It was hella expensive though, but it's gorgeous. And you can reuse the hair for a couple of times if you take care of it, which I do, so yeah. Um, I'm so happy with it. Like, I don't know, I just love that it's like long and like luscious. And I love that it's my own hair as well as like other hair. I don't wanna like wear a wig or something because I just feel like that just doesn't look as real. Um, but yeah. Um, I should be in Hamilton. Well, <laughs> I'm not. Um, I didn't audition for the tour either, but um, I did see that the tour was announced and my friend is um, gonna be assistant MD on a Hamilton tour. So I'm very excited. I'm probably gonna watch it a million times. I already said I'm gonna visit her when she's in Manchester and stuff. Like I'm just gonna go and watch the show a million times because I'm very proud of her. Um, okay, so this person really wants to know where I'm from. I'm from Holland. Well, it's actually called the Netherlands. I'm from Amsterdam. Um, so yeah. Have you been to Bailey in the Greatest Days yet? Unfortunately, yes. She is horrible. Not in it, she's a great performer, but she as a person is horrible. Please someone screenshot, free report that and send it to her. <laughs> um, yeah, I did see Bailey um, and she was very good. Um, she was, I think I saw her debut as like the green girl. She's wearing green. Um, someone said, I heard drugs were free in Amsterdam. I don't know what this thing is with drugs lately. Like everyone's just talking about it. Also drugs are not free anywhere. I mean, I guess like the drugs from like, like the medicine is free to an extent. It's a great country. Healthcare is amazing in Holland, if that's what you're asking. Um, yeah, so I saw Bailey as um, the girl in the green and it was her um, debut and she did really well and um, it was great. I booked tickets, I thought I booked on the third row. I booked tickets for the first fucking front row. I was just sat there and I was, she walked out and I was like, oh, this is horrible. She could just see my face. I felt really bad. It was really funny afterwards though, but yeah. <laughs> um, what Hamilton character will you play? Eliza. I love Eliza. I think she's amazing. Um, do you like Rent? I thought you were saying, do you like Rent? And I was like, yeah, I, I don't own a house. <laughs> I rent, but yeah, rent the show. I love rent the show. One day, 
I don't even know which character I want to play. I used to want to play Mimi, but honestly, I also love um, Maureen, so we'll see. Um, I love that show. I feel like I'm being too calm about it. Like, it's one of my favorite shows in the world. Like, Rent, when I was young, I thought it was edgy. Because I was like, yeah, no, because I don't like cats and stuff. I don't like the animal or the musical, but I meant the musical. So cats and, like, the old, like, showboat, that kind of, like, old musical theater, Oklahoma. Mm. It's not, like, my vibe. And I love, like, m more, like, pop musical theater from the 90s up to, like, now. So Rent was one of the first, like, really, like, rock, not rock, but, like, pop shows. And so, yeah, I've always loved it. I thought it was edgy. It's not everyone loves rent so it's not really that cool but uh, yeah one of my favorite shows ever and i've seen it live once only once yeah um ooh, whoa so many questions greetings from finland i've been to finland you know um this was a long time ago but i've been to finland which is super random we always used to go to like Vietnam and Indonesia, which is where my uh, grandparents are from. Um, so we always went to Asia, East Asia mainly, but also Sri Lanka. Um, we went to South America. I used to travel a lot as a child. And then my mom was like, oh, let's go to Finland. Very confusing, but I mean, it was beautiful. Lots of woods. Lots of sausages. Very interesting. Um, I think green is Claire. Oh, hey, Sarah. I think green is Claire. I saw her Zoe debut in Liverpool. She's bloody good. Yes, but she's also a witch. I feel like that needs to be very clear that she's also a witch, even though she's talented. Okay. Um, but yeah, sure. Claire, that was the one. Um, I was going to say Maureen too. Yeah, I love Maureen. I feel like, I don't know. I, I did, um, who else loves Ren, by the way? Um, and my se sorry, I'm just getting confused about all the questions. There are like, there's so many. Um, some of them interesting. Some of them I'm not gonna respond to. Um, so yeah, no, I love Mimi. I used to do. I, so we had to do this uh, character, what like character research project in school, and I did Mimi, and I, I loved it. Um, I'd love to see you sing Take Me or Leave Me. I used to sing that as a child. I say a child, but I used to sing that when I was 16 years old. Are you seeing Next to Normal? It's insane. So, guys, basically, I, because I didn't get tickets, and it, I feel like it sold out. And, um, so, Vari posted on her close friends yesterday, who wants to come with, who wants to, <laughs> I'm so tired, who wants to come to Next to Normal with me, I have a ticket for Saturday. So I was like, surely that ticket's gone. It wasn't, so now I'm gonna see it Saturday. So I'm really excited. <gasps> I'm so excited. Um, so thank you, Vari. Um, a whole reunion. I'm really excited to see Vari as well. So, yeah. Oh my God, Emanique is here. Or he was. Is he still here? Can someone check? Um. Uh, Fan casts for Heathers, who would you cast? Wait, do I need to cast fans? I'm very confused. I visited the Netherlands a few weeks, for the first time a few weeks ago. Great, I love it. Yes, a witch as well, noted. I am very behind on these questions. Love Rent. Uh, out tonight, yeah, I love Out tonight so much. Do you remember Where is Dutch? Can someone please tell me Someone, Jazz Musicals 8. Can you tell me what you mean? Um, uh, sorry, hold on. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm all caught up. Okay, so, do you have kids? Ah, <laughs> no. I mean, I guess some of my friends are getting pregnant. It's not weird, but I, not me. I want a dog. When Billy said, where is Dutch? Oh, she did say that. Billy. Yeah, I sometimes get very defensive when people don't know like the word Dutch, when people say like Hollandaise or when people 
don't know where it is. Because I feel like you should. Um, but yeah. Okay, yeah, that's a lot of personal questions. Do I have any tattoos? No. I can answer that because I truly don't. <sighs> Sorry, I don't even know what to say anymore. I don't know what to say anymore. I, I feel like I'm reading out these questions, but I'm not, I'm not gonna read them out because I'm just a bit bored. Can anyone else ask me a question? Vivian and Bailey are the duo we've always needed. No, we're not a duo. Yeah, we're an enemy duo. And the funny thing is, Taylor, who's Bailey's friend, loves me. <laughs> and Bailey hates me. She hates me so much. Um, but that's, you know. Wait, hold on. Yay! Sorry, I did a thing. I removed someone from the live because it was just really distracting. Um, do you still see any of the Heather's cats? Well, I'm going to see Vari on Saturday. So, that's exciting. How am I doing? I'm a little bit stressed, I'm not going to lie. Um, but, I'm excited. Uh, Vivian, can you play? Alright. Uh, Hi, Courtney. <laughs> I can't read. What's your favorite place to eat? Like a restaurant or something? I like Italian food. I can see someone on their balcony. Or like on the roof. Well, oh, anyway. Um, uh, what was the question? <laughs> favorite place to eat? Uh, um, Italian food. Or sushi. But I don't have, like, a specific place. I don't have a favorite place to eat. Make sure to bring tissues on Saturday. I will. Oh, my gosh. Cam is here, and he works with Bailey currently. So can we all say, Cam, I don't know how you're doing it. We're sending you, the like, so much luck because, you know, he might not survive. Um, bring tissues. I will. I'm really excited. I've seen Next to Normal before. I know what it's about. I'm just really excited to see these talented people on stage. Um, will you see Hannah in six? Probably. I mean, it's in the West End, so I don't really have an excuse not to. Um, and I do want to see her on stage, obviously. But I think she's going to go on, like, loads. Which is exciting. Off topic, but affordable living in London that's safe is impossible to find. To find. Advice welcome. Well, I have no advice. My rent is ridiculously high. That's, that's all I have to say. Like, literally, it's horrible. Um, I would say, like, go into Facebook groups. There's, like, some Facebook groups, like, Girls Who Rent and, like, um, other, like, Facebook groups. But, like, watch out for, like, bots and stuff. But there's often real people on there. And then Spare Room. And then just pray to the heavens because it's, it's an actual joke out here right now. I'm sorry. I have no good news. But, like, literally, good luck because... Affordable, yeah, I would say, like, move out of the city center. Like, go zone three, four, um, I would say. It's just so expensive. It's horrible. Um, is it Car Carries? Is it, how do I pronounce your name? Is it Carries? Carries? I, I feel like I'm saying it wrong. Um... I've spent all day scrolling on Spare Room. That's what I've been doing. You just need to, like, get lucky and sometimes pay more than you would want to. Are you going to go to school here? Are you going to be working? Um, you know how they say, like, your rent and bill should be, a th or maybe only rent, should be, like, a third of your salary or, like, a quarter? I don't know. But that just doesn't happen here. <laughs> Not really. Not for most people. Like, it's usually, like, half or more of your total income which is not advice like if you don't need to move to london and you don't really want to move to london i would say don't do it but i love london like i i i love it so much i'm so happy so much happier since i moved back and i live pretty central so for me that's a choice that i've made um but for affordable living move out of the cent center of, of town because it's it's crazy Car Caris, carrie carrie <laughs> 
Am I saying it correctly? Carries. Caris? Like Paris. Is it, is it Caris? Like Paris? Um, how did I get into acting? I feel like I say this every life, but um, High School Musical 1, 2, and 3, senior year. I love High School Musical, and I really actually want to watch it again tonight. But I'm watching Avengers. Anyone into, like, Avengers movies, I'm watching it tonight. Also, I feel like I haven't really answered your question. But yeah, High School Musical was the first thing that made me fall in love with, like, singing and acting. Um, but I've said this a million times before. I'm now more, like, working towards... Um, working in film and TV, um, that's like my goal. <laughs> that's what I would love. But I still want to um, also do musical theater. And that's how I like kind of learned that you can do all of it. Like you don't have to do one thing. Uh, so high school musical, 100%. Um, and then there was, oh yeah, I've never seen a Marvel movie. Gosh. So I, my friend and I, his name is Rulof, which is a Dutch name. So he and I have been watching all the Avengers for years. Like that's something that we do together. He's from Holland, he lives in Holland. And so we used to meet up every week to watch another movie. And we watched it in the um, like chronological order, not from when it comes out, but like in the universe, like the oldest movie would then be, uh, wait, what was it, Captain Marvel? No, that's 90s, no, um, Avenger, uh, Captain America. And then you would, even though that came out like later, if that makes sense. So we watched it in that order. And we're currently still watching it. But we stopped for like a while. I feel like almost a year. Um, and since then I've watched everything that did come out. Um, but now we're continuing the chronological order. We're now watching... Tonight we're watching Doctor Strange. Um, so I haven't seen that before. And then this week we're watching to While we're watching it, we're going to meet up twice. So... Um, this week I watched, um, what was it called? Shang-Chi. And then, that was great, by the way. I loved it. It's not my favorite. My favorite Avenger movies are the Spider-Man ones and the, um, um, Guardians of the Galaxy ones. Um, but yeah, so tonight is Doctor Strange. And then I'm gonna try and make him watch The Little Mermaid, which is not Avengers, but... He hasn't watched it, and I love it so much. So I feel like, yeah. So, yeah. When I talk, started talking about Avengers, everyone left. <laughs> Do I need to talk about musical theater again? Um, I don't want to. Um, I'm also going to go. But, um, yeah, if you have any questions, just let me know, and I'll answer them, and then I'm going to go. Is acting hard? Technically, No. As in, like, if you're doing it right, it shouldn't be hard. What's hard is, like, letting go of your ego. What's hard is being in the moment. What's hard is actually telling the truth and letting go. What's hard is the industry itself. But acting, like, is just kind of being yourself and within other circumstances. Which, I mean, you've been yourself all your life, so it shouldn't be hard technically um are you excited for loki season two um yeah loki wasn't my favorite though but i am excited because now i remember the finale which if you haven't seen it i'm not gonna spoil it but that was that was insane so i'm actually quite excited yeah um but i'm not there yet we have to watch so much i'm at doctor strange right now like there's so much more there's like she hulk um hawkeye there's so much that I have to watch, so I feel like I'm super behind. Would you ever go back to Heather's if you could? Well, never say never, but no. <laughs> Not really. I've been in it long enough, I would say. Um, and I've also done the movie. I feel like, yeah, maybe when I'm old, come back as Miss Fleming. Um, I keep getting notes in addition. I know I'm only 14. You're 14 years old. Okay, well, first of all, you're gonna get mostly no's. Usually, if, you, if, if you're doing it right and you have like loads of additions, like you're not gonna get every single one of them and that's not because you're not talented. It's because they might be looking for someone else and this is me saying it to myself. Um, and <laughs> stop calling me out for not leaving. Um, and you just gotta keep going because that is the job. 
the amount of no's that some I've been pretty lucky, but like still there's like some roles that I maybe wanted to play and I didn't get to. It's part of it, and then you do get it. If you get a yes for everything, you can't even do everything anyway. So just keep going. It'll be it'll be fine. It'll be great. What would be your dream role, either stage or screen? I mean, I don't have one for screen because I don't think my dream role has been written yet. <laughs> um, and for stage, I mean, I would really like to one day originate a role. Um, that would be just fantastic. Um, and other than that, like sometimes, like a lot of people have seen me and Heather's obviously, and they think that that's what I can do. But it's just interesting because with nine to five, I was like, oh, I could never do that. And they still gave it to me. So I feel like me having like an idea of what I am good at or what I really want isn't always what's best for me or what other people view me as, if that makes sense. And I, I think being able to play like such vastly different roles was just, yeah. I don't know. I can, I, I can have like an idea of what shows I like to watch, but that doesn't always mean that that's the best thing for me to do as an actor. That makes sense. So I don't really have like a dream role. Not one. I have some shows that I'd like to be in, but I'm going to keep them to myself. Um, I want to be in Heather's in six when I'm older. Um, great. I mean, there's going to be a, a whole load of new musicals when you're older. Because that's you, right? You're 14 years old. Yeah. By that time, you're going to have a whole... When I was 14, I had totally different goals. I was like, oh, I want to do this, this, and this. And now that I'm older, I'm like, oh, actually, I want to maybe do more of this stuff. And again, and I keep saying this, just what you like to watch isn't always what you like to do as an actor. I feel like there's so much stuff that I love to watch and I would never in a million years be in. Like, kinky boots. <laughs> love it. But who am I going to play? Like, uh, I'm not going to be in it. But like, yeah. I don't know. It's just nice. Just figure it out. You're you're 14 years old. Give yourself some time and definitely give yourself some grace because, whoo, I you got a long career ahead of you. So, yeah. I'm Veronica in my local theater. That's amazing. That's a hard role to play, you know. I can only imagine. Woo. All right, I'm going to go. <laughs> that looks so awful. So, I have these for, like, my pin curls. Like, that I never do. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go. I love you all. And we should do this again sometime. Oh, and if you have any vlog ideas, I will do like a, a question box somewhere soon. Just let me know what you want to see. Because I'm not that creative, you know, when it comes to social media. Um, but yeah. Oh, Harrison, hey. All right. Bye. <laughs> Bye, everyone. I love you all, and I'll see you soon.